is Josh and Donna. It says, The best written, best performed, best produced and most compelling drama on the air. New York Daily News. Word. Josh and Toby. Let's put them by there. There's some really cool images in here. Got the crew. Cool car shot there. Consistently entertaining, thrillingly idealistic, wonderfully acted and crisply written. TV Guide. Yeah, it got a lot of praise. It is missed. Got CJ there doing a press briefing. Um, yeah, oh, cool shots here. Toby and Leo. Tom and Josh again. One of the best and brightest shows of this or any other season. This is really, I love, I love glossy photos. Look at this photo, this is cool. All very much in character. Um, while I'm flipping through this, um, let me mention a few things I haven't yet. A few characters and stuff. Um, Margaret is, who is Leo McGarry's secretary, she isn't, she doesn't have a lot of stuff to do in the show, but she's in the entire show, the entire seven seasons, and she's just such a great oddball kind of character, so many laugh out loud, loud moments. Who else? Uh, Joey Lucas, played by Marley Martin, who is, um, she's deaf in real life, she's deaf in the show, and, um, she she's in the whole show as well. I mean, she just comes back every now and again. Um, yeah, Joey Lucas. She's one of my favourite guest stars. Um, who else? Lord John Marbury. I've just remembered him. He's this this British ambassador guy. He comes in and he's hilarious every time. He calls Leo something. He he doesn't know Leo's name or he thinks he's the butler. Just classic, classic moments. Who else? There's loads of people that just come in and go out. Danny Cancanon, who I mentioned earlier. He's good stuff. Oh, there's um, Matthew Perry. I don't know if you can tell. Matthew Perry and um, Bradley Whitford. They could be brothers. Their expression, everything about them is so similar. Um, also, of course, they went on to star in Studio 60 together. Um, there's Glenn Close. There's CJ on... What's she on? She's on some sort of TV because somebody accused her of something. There's a good scene where she um, she's on TV and she doesn't put any pants on because she's like, well, they can't see my legs. <laughs> Um, I'm just rambling now. I just love it. It says, the series excels at distilling the basic emotion emotions within large events. Los Angeles Times. Special features Gaza anatomy of an episode. That's recreating a foreign country. That's such a good episode, that one. That's a good shot. Senate. Senator Vinick. President and Senator Vinick eating ice cream, apparently. King Corn, that was a good episode. Um, and this is season six, so this is when they're sort of like all on the road. There's Jimmy Smits. He's amazing. Everybody knows Jimmy Smits is amazing. The stellar cast is showing once again just how stellar it is. Compelling new spice conflict and energy. There he is again. He has a very important role in the end of the series. That picture's kind of a spoiler, so I won't go. Okay. There's Kristen Chenoweth, who plays Annabeth. I loved her... Um, her chemistry with Leo as well. That's cool.
cool. I haven't seen a picture of um, Margaret yet. It's disappointing. I love that picture of Donna and Josh. I don't even know if this was a real scene or anything, but she doesn't even look like she's looking at him. She looks like she's still in space. But anyway, and this is a scene from the final episode. You have um, Will and Kate and Charlie leaving the White House just like, should we go and see a movie? Like they haven't seen a movie in years. the end so that is the book which is really nice I love that and then um, you get the pilot script which with an introduction by Aaron Sorkin um, I've read that he's a really cool guy I love him um, it says here look it says there was the reasons why they didn't. People didn't think the show would work. Washington shows don't work. Shows about politics don't work. You can't have Jewish people on TV. You can't have divorced people on TV. You can't have people from New York on TV, and you can't have people with mustaches on TV. <laughs> and the West Wing has all of those things. And then there's a quote here um, from when he was trying to get Martin Sheen, and his secretary came into his office and she said, "Charlie Sheen is on the phone." Aaron Sorkin, probably not. Lauren, Martin Sheen, Aaron Sorkin, there you go. Sounds like they had a bit of a Don and Josh relationship. And then it has the whole pilot script. And it is an expert excerpt from the West Wing script book, Six Teleplays by Aaron Sorkin. So you can get a bigger one, but that's kind of cool. And... I guess that's it. That's the um that's the whole show. Look at that. Seven seasons of pure goodness. Um, like I was saying, the only literally the only drawback in this is the way the DVDs are holding held in there. Haven't had any problems yet though, so um and I love the style of this with the character and then the uh, yeah. Forty five discs. 154 episodes there's also I forgot to mention in season 7 there is a live episode a live debate episode it runs for just over an, just under an hour and the whole thing is shot was shot live on NBC and it's a um, live debate between Jimmy Smith and Alan Alda who played Matthew Santos and Arnold Vinnick and literally I think it's like the only episode that doesn't have any of the original cast members in it so it's really weird but it feels so real and it sort of gets you into the whole campaign feel so um yeah I like that this show with the documentary episode as well and that it just sort of like it went to new levels. It's just, I'm in love with this show. I, if you haven't seen it, just please watch it. It's now one of my favourite shows easily. I'm going to upload this video and it's going to be just me rambling and I still wouldn't have said what everything I wanted to have said. But um, please watch this show. The cast is amazing. The, the writing is amazing. The directing is amazing. The finales are like movies. Um... If I haven't sold you now, I never will, so please go and watch it. And thank you for watching the video, and I need to go and find a new show to watch, because I haven't got any more DVDs um, with me. I thought I'd be in my flat by now. But hey-ho. Bye.